this video we're going to review basic probability rules. So the AND, the OR, the GIVEN, and the complement. Okay, the AND, it's also known as the intersection, or if you will, it's the overlap between two events. It's when both events are happening or uh, are true, uh, depending what we're talking about. So an example here, if you are at the intersection between Canada Way and Wellington, you say you're at Canada Way and Willingdon Avenue. Or for example, if you have a disease and you test positive for that disease, um, okay. So then for example, this is the blue circle is having a disease, the black is testing positive, the overlap is where both are true. Uh, or whatever it is we're going to look at. We're going to look at an example like this later and then we're going to um, talk about it further when doing what's called Bayes rule. Now further about the AND, here are the formulas. There are two different ones. Uh, probability of A and B is the probability of A given B times the probability of B. We will talk about this given in the next slide. Or it's the probability of B given A times the probability of A. Which one should you choose? They're both great. It just depends on what probabilities you have. If you have A given B and you also have probability of B, use this one. If you have B given A and you also have the probability of A, use this one. Okay. Now, the OR, that's also known as the union. So you'll see here it is this whole red area, all of this. So it's the odds of being in either uh, of the areas or having either event occur. For example, if we were on Canada Way or Willingdon, let's say you're trying to tell somebody where you are and you're saying, I'm either on Canada Way or I'm on Willingdon. Well, you could never find us. <laughs> it would be very hard because we could be anywhere on either street. Another example, um, so having a disease or testing positive for that disease or wearing a red shirt or wearing green pants or winning the lottery or winning at the racetrack. So lots of different possibilities for OR. Uh, formula for it, A or B is the odds of A plus the odds of B minus the odds of A and B. Now the given, which is what we actually need to get the AND, the two formulas are quite highly related here. The given is also known as a conditional probability. Um, so it's the odds of an event occurring given that another event has occurred. So for example, if we're driving along Canada Way, we're phoning our friend and saying, okay, I'm driving somewhere along Canada Way. Oh, I just crossed Willingdon. Um, okay, it'd be easy to find us then. Another example, let's say if we had a disease and we went in and get got tested for it and then we tested positive. Um, or for example, if we wore, um, let's say if we wore green pants and then we also wore a red shirt. Okay, uh, so we're already wearing the green pants, and if we are wearing the green pants, we're going to wear a red shirt also. Okay, um, or let's say um, if we already won at the racetrack, we felt super lucky, and we went and bought a lottery ticket because of it, and we won the lottery too. Uh, anyways, I, uh, it's hard to describe the ifs very well here. We're going to look much better at them with real examples later. Um, okay, last one is the complement. Okay, uh, I don't know if you've ever had a friend get their hair cut and you really don't think it looks good, but you notice it. And so you're going to comment on it and you say, oh, I like your haircut because, well, you um, you want to say something about their haircut. It's very screamingly obvious they had one, but let's say you actually didn't like it. You might compliment them anyways. It's just a little trick for remembering the compliment. The compliment is actually the opposite. Okay, so maybe you didn't really like that haircut, but you compliment them anyways. Okay, so it's the opposite. It's the odds of an event not occurring. So for example, what are the odds of us not winning the lottery? Sadly, far too high. Uh, what's the odds of us not testing positive? Okay, formula for it, you just take one minus the original probability. And notice this bar, this means not A. So PA bar means the complement of A or it means not A.